Hello, CB35 team and families. This is the January 8th, 2021 weekly update with me, Superintendent Dave Rubel, also known as our R Super 35 on social media. Uh, this week on the weekly update, uh, first, the weekly update from the Santa Cruz County Health Department confirms that the number of COVID cases in our community continues to be very high. Our top priority is the health and safety of students and staff, followed by a stable and continuous learning platform. With those priorities in mind, uh, we will adjust the following programs and services. Hybrid students will continue with remote learning through Wednesday, February 17, 2021. Distance learners will continue with their online learning at home. Uh, the new projected date for return of on-site hybrid learning model is Thursday, February 18th. We feel that this will give us an opportunity to work with the vaccination as well as hopefully mitigate the COVID-19 and have it reduce so that we can bring our students back on campus and students and staff safely. Uh, learning spaces will be open to students. However, all of the learning spaces will be, uh, regardless of the school site, will be at Guatemala Middle School. However, if you have any questions, please call your specific school site and your principal can assist you. The Calabasas Preschool will be closed January 11th through the 15th for in-person instruction. Classes will continue uh, to be provided through a virtual classroom. Meal service will also be available via our east and west bus route and available for pickup at Guatemala and Calabasas Middle Schools. So if you have any questions about food service, again, you can also find that on our website or you can contact your specific school site, but we will have uh, the bus service for delivery as well as two pickup sites, Guatemala and Calabasas. All school district sites are physically closed to the public uh, with limited number of staff on site and all staff will return to their school site on January 25th, or that is our projected date for staff to return to the school site. Families may call or email principals at their site for questions regarding learning spaces or for additional information. Uh, we are working very closely with uh, my Post Community Health Center and the Santa Cruz County Health Department uh, to develop a vaccine schedule for our staff. Uh, we are hopeful that a well-executed plan for our vaccinating our staff will help us achieve our goal of returning to hybrid instruction on February 18th. Uh, and also, again, just a reminder, please join us in mitigating the spread by practicing social distancing, frequently washing your hands, and wearing a mask and avoiding those large gatherings. Um, we are also excited to announce that um, as part of our food service, that beginning next week, uh, we will provide weekend packets of food for, for students. And again, a reminder that this is for all children under the age of 18, whether they are attending our school district or not. Um, so again, those pickup areas are at Guatemala Middle School and Calabasas School. And you can find a copy of those routes on our website. Um, also, again, we are very excited to provide those weekend meals. Um, and again, those are for any student um, or any uh, child under the age of 18. Um, thank you for taking the time to view the weekly update. Um, I'd like to remind you to visit our SCB35.org website for additional information about SCB35 and view our above the bar interviews highlighting members of our SCB35 community. Uh, the health and safety of our entire SCB35 community is important to us. So again, reminder, please do your part to stop the spread of COVID-19 and have an above the bar week. Thank you.